we are outside the Anaheim Convention Center. As you can see, there is a huge banner. It's George, who is our cameraman, hey, and editor, up? and jack of all trades. Oh! oh it's vlogception. Oh, oh yeah. It's a vlog and 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 a vlog. He's my grumpy producer. I'm not grumpy. He's my producer. Thank you. <laughs> not fired. So we've got our badges. I've got a wristband. Good to go. Today is Thursday and today is uh, all about uh, panels. Well, not all about panels, but we've got a lot of panels today. So we're going to be doing lots of learning. Oh, I need a coffee. Check this out. This is really high. I get a bit of vertigo, you know, when you just like can't keep the balance. So I'm not going to do that much longer because I might fall over. And we're hoping to uh, do a bit of filming as well um, around and about uh, on the floor and asking some people why they think Doctor Who inspires so much creativity online. It gives people so many ways to express themselves. It's really just that that spirit of like, you can do it. It has so much amazing stuff in it. There's so much like vastness of a universe. There is just so much material to work with the Doctor Who. It's been on the air for so long. It takes place anywhere, anytime. You have 50 years of lore and legend to work from. So many characters, so many locations, so many settings, so many relationships. There's endless material for people to work with and rearrange and adjust and uh, like reuse and use as, uh, as a fodder for their own creativity. Would you be able to show me how to animate using your amazing new puppet? Bill sure! Puppet. I'm gonna act actually have her move her arm like in a little bit. On this app, I'll be able to see how much she's moved because I can use this little slider. So I wanna have it moving a little more. There you go, now the arm's starting to raise. Thanks, Elisa. To see the full tutorial with Dr. Puppet, click the link. Are there any uh, Doctor Who videos out there that you really like? I really like when uh, YouTubers create their own version of the intro because the show intro is like as iconic as the TARDIS. And then of course the Billy Henshaw's version that got used on the show basically. Like that's so amazing. There was one by Mike Romanita and he did one about Doctor Who's religion. I, I like Nerdist's videos. I love the Sheep Geeks. The episode that you did with them was like oh, one of my yeah. favorite things. Dr. Puppet is high in my pantheon of, you know, great creative use of Doctor Who. Dr. Puppet would be, like, the top one. She's right over there. <laughs> I like the one that the uh, Hollywood show did. The Doctor Who parody they did, that was my favorite thing. So it was like, mine's music and it combines Doctor Who. It was also time for a panel about Doctor Who and fan creativity with Dr. Puppet, The Hollywood Show, Sam Bashall, my producer, and Mike Wignetta. It'll be out as a podcast soon on iTunes and SoundCloud. I thought it would be a really good idea to dress up as the 12th Doctor in like 40 degree heat. It's the final day and I'm off to meet YouTuber and Doctor Who fan Presley to help do a science experiment all about time travel. Nice to finally meet you. Hey everyone, welcome back to HDM. I'm Presley and today we're going to be doing a science club with Captain Crystal who runs the BBC Doctor Who fan show. That is very gloopy. That is so much fun. We've just done a science experiment. Presley is amazing at science. Um, what did we do? It's a laminar flow experiment and um, it's really cool. It's like time travel and just these dots blend together and you turn it back and they go back to the exact same shape they're in. I also got this amazing, amazing um, cushion from Presley which is handmade. Yeah, we made this it. This is so awesome, so thank you so much. What does Doctor Who mean to you? If you think about it, it's like a very layered show. It talks about the dangers, like if you could actually have time travel and go around anywhere you needed to at all times, you could change the course of humanity forever. Just the weirdness of it, but like it has so much heart, which I love. It's a fun escape, it's fun to watch. It makes the gears in my head turn, it makes me think of things, that's why I started doing this. It gives me hope. He's not a superhero, he's a hero within himself. The whole atmosphere of that show to me is overcoming and getting up out of ruts and you know, starting over because that's his story. Not only is it just amazing and I can express myself and get into a fandom and be really committed and love it, but I also become friends and it's really yeah. cool. So that it means a lot to me. Thanks Vicon, we've had an amazing time. But there's just one more thing on my to-do list.